Welcome to another episode of Hereford FC here in Vanilla FM and today we're going to take a look at the new season 2027-2028. First of all I'm going to take you through the squad changes that we've done for this season. Just to remind you as well that um, uh, we've been in this season for quite a while now. Let's have a look at the club info for a second. Uh, history. There we go. So it's our fifth season now in this league. Uh, we have finished previously in 14th, 10th, 13th and then last year 8th um, so yeah so we're going to try and go for promotion this year I think that's the way to go whether or not we'll achieve it we'll see we have, need to kind of um, watch out for the next few episodes but for now I'm going to take you through the um, uh, the squad no changes in goalkeeping we still have Evan Owens he did very well for us last year and in the reserve position, we've got Tom Smiles. He's wanted to be, leave for a while. He's probably going to leave at the end of the season. In the right side of the fence, we still have Sunbird. Um, no change there. But we did go and get uh, Graham Greenwood. And he's a new gen from Lincoln. Talking about new gens, if you want to name a new gen, uh, head over to the Patreon. And uh, you can sign up there to name a new gen. Uh, you can either do it for the youth team or the senior squad. Now on the left side of the fence we have one new player. Uh, Sam... Sorry, Sebastian uh, Drabrowski. He's uh, from uh, Poland and he's very good, very good player. Uh, from Swansea, he's been playing in Swansea. Uh, yeah, very good player. Hopefully he can do good things for us. And if you remember, we still uh, have Sam Ton Tonkinson. And he's from our own youth development. Uh, so he came about last year. He was promoted not at the end of last year to the senior squad. The defensive midfield position. I'll go back to centre-backs in a minute. Uh, defensive midfield position, we've got Ross still from last year oh no he's new sorry he is new uh yeah so from scotland uh, but from last year we still have kian tansley if i can find him there we go so no change there now in the center of the fence we have two new players so um from last year we have rico brown and jacob uh rico brown Uh, but we have two new players. We've got Ben Harrison, which I believe is a new gen. Yeah, he is. Ben Harrison and also uh, Leiden Lot on a non-contract. Moving on to the midfield, we have Reese Gilmore, a new player in this position. A new gen as well from Scotland. And at the end of last year, I'm not sure if you'll remember, we went and got Callum Stringer, who used to be our player at seven points in the past. And he came over last year again. On the right side of attack, no changes here. We still have uh, Raylon, Rayon Dillon and Adam O'Sheath. Um, Adam O'Sheath is not very good, but he's still holding on. And from the uh, left side, Fettel is still with us. We did sell Rico though, and we went and promoted from our own youth development, Callum. Where is Callum? Uh, oh, sorry, Kiaran. Kiaran. Kiaran McLeod, McLeod. He is from our own youth development. Uh, finally, in attack, we have a all new attack. Uh, I did try to keep Leighton Stewart, but eventually he signed a the contract with a different club, so it's going to be an all new attack starting with K Churchley. So, K Churchley, 22 year old from Truro, uh, Chris Agarty, Welsh new gen, we used to play at Barnet at one point in time. Uh, following on from that, uh, Andrew O'Shea, also Welsh, looks very good. Uh, Shrewsbury and finally you got Justin uh, Iwobi um, he's basically a backup um, yeah okay that's it that's the squad the youth team's doing okay um, 
they probably played a few matches. How many? Hey, they played about four matches. Yeah, four matches now. Two wins, a, lo a loss, and a draw. So they find themselves in third position. But yeah, but they're they're pretty good, to be fair. Dynamics wise, because we kept so many players from last year, we have a very good dynamic still. Uh, we are going to have to pick a new team leader, but I guess one of these guys will eventually fill that gap. Finance wise, we are actually doing okay. We got some money from various sources over the summer. So let's see. Mostly season tickets. So that must have been a big boost. Yeah, not that, not as big as I thought. Yeah, season tickets mainly. That's where the income came from this year. Um, yeah, that's it. So let's jump into a match. I actually played a few already. We have three draws and a win. Win against uh, Barnett. We're going to play Walking though, and Walking are in first place, so I'm expecting a loss here. I'm going to play quite defensively. We find ourselves in eighth, uh, sorry, tenth place. So that's where we are starting off the season. And yeah, I'm not expecting great things from this match, but I thought I couldn't get much further into the game without putting in an episode because otherwise we'll be just too far in. Yeah, I hope you've been enjoying the previous episodes. In the last episode, we won the FA Trophy, so hopefully this year we can match that. And maybe this year we could maybe slightly try, well, try to go slightly further on the in the FA Cup as well. I think that would be great. Uh, FA Cup does bring in uh, a good amount of uh, revenue, and we are looking for more more cash in our bank. So, so that'd be nice. Oh, I forgot to tell you about who we sold. We actually made some money in transfers, not much, about 25,000 from memory from a um, mid, uh, center mid midfielder that we sold. So I'll show you that in a minute. Now it's going to be tough here against Woken. I haven't actually looked at the season preview to see where we are with that. Probably quite near the bottom. Okay, so if I click... Uh, somebody's name. Hang on. Let's look. Let's look into that. I forgot about that. So competitions, uh, season preview. I'm assuming we're going to be near the bottom. Yeah, there we are. Twenty first is the prediction. We will do better than that, though. I think. Um, now, transfer wise, we made some cash with Aaron uh, Arnett. He we sold him to Bromley, which is actually a rival team. So hopefully he won't do too well for them. But yeah, he wanted to leave. We made some cash from it. And um, yeah, the replacements that we got are f you know, roughly the same the same level as him. So it's not like we downgraded or anything. So there we go. So, in theory, our, uh, I haven't actually looked at the squad um, comparison. The squad comparison screen can sometimes be quite useful. Uh, but I haven't really um, assessed where our weaknesses lie. Just briefly thinking about the players, I think it's probably still the attacking midfield wings. Although, yeah, I think yeah, I think that would be that. The attacking midfield wings are probably our biggest weakness at the moment. So that that's where we are struggling to find talent. Um, we don't have any more scouting budget. We actually we only had nineteen thousand this year for scouting. So, um, so that ran out very quickly. Right, um, let's get a different person in attack, like that. Um, yellow 
card. Let's get rid of that. And then finally, let's get some bird in. And there we go. Yeah, so th this season, my my aim is to make those playoffs because we've been trying, we've, like, it's the fifth season now. Uh, so, uh, so we'll try for that. Although I think it's going to be difficult. Um, we don't have the, but although I did sell, by selling one player, I made a big, a, a big improvement to our budget. Um, so, so that helped a little bit. But whether or not we're going to be able to improve the team in winter window. Although in this league there isn't really a window I could get players in until the end of March. But I still like to keep it to those windows like summer, January, etc. With a final top up at the end of March. But yeah, I'm not sure if we're going to be able to improve the squad much more in the winter. Last year we didn't at all. We didn't make any changes at all, as far as I can remember. We did a couple, we brought in a couple of new players at the end of March, but largely for this season. So, Calm Stringer was one of them. Oh, nice there from Tomkinson. I think one last thing we'll look at is its squad comparison. So let me just dip into that real quick. So if we look at squad planner comparison, so we are lacking in crossing and long shots. Well, we're lacking a lot of things, but crossing and long shots are really bad. Vision is pretty bad. We're leading in anticipation and leadership, which isn't that crucial. Physic. Uh, physical, we've always been pretty bad at the physical attributes. In attack, we are lacking pace and long shotting ability. In midfield, stamina, vision, long shots. Hmm. Defense is looking okay, lacking a little bit of pace and acceleration. And goalkeeping. Goalkeeping is looking pretty good. Uh, below average in agility, but um, everything's above average. Command of the area and 1v1s, we are actually leading in that. So that's good. We've got a young squad. Okay, so there we go. That one was this loud. Why was it this loud? Offside? Mm, yeah, by like a little bit. And what I'll do, as always, is just after this episode, I'll play on until the end of February probably, and then come back at that point to show you what the progress is, show you any changes. Also, if you uh, do name a new gen, I do go and show the progress of that new gen. So don't, don't forget to look for that Patreon link in the description. And there we go. So it's it's a loss, but it's not a big loss. I'm actually quite happy with that because they are leading the league at the moment. So we find ourselves in this 12th place, five games in. So it's not too bad. I think I think we'll be okay. All right, I'll catch up with you again um, around February in the game, uh, just to see how the league's going. Thanks so much for watching. Till the end, take care. Bye-bye.